Captain Marvel Mondo Zavi exclusive steelbook has just dropped through the door. So we're going to do an opening of this one and we're going to take a look at it. Welcome back to the channel everyone and welcome to this exclusive opening. It's not exclusive to me, it's a Zavi exclusive. Well, within the UK it's available outside in other territories and this sort of a thing. So let's just get that out of the way. So this is the final um, Mondo Steelbook. This completes phases one to three of the MCU with the exception of any of the Spider-Man films or... Um, Universal's Incredible Hulk. So yes, so I'm glad that it's the last one. I truly am, I am glad it's the last one. Um, Cause it's, you know, 30 quid less a month going out, or a week, sorry, 30 quid less a week. Cause these have been weekly so far. Um, and this one actually isn't out until Monday of next week. Um, so it's come early, which is great. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna open it up. We're gonna take a look. Um, I will say that, that now that I've got them all, um, I don't know if they're going to do phase four, very possibly, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a video where I rank them all. I'm going to pull them all, we're going to take a look at them in order of my ranking. And that's not the ranking of the films and how I like the films or not, it's the ranking of the artwork and the release itself, because I do feel they've got a bit lazier as time has gone on. Um, the earlier ones being far better than the latter ones that we got. Um, but yeah, so I'll, I'll do that at some point very soon. But anyway, let's just adjust the camera so we can take a gander. Well, I'm not just going to adjust the camera. I'm going to go downstairs and film it because it's a light better. So let's go. So yes, so here we have said still book for Captain Marvel. Um, not going into my thoughts on the film. Not one, of, well, I will do actually. It's not one of the best Marvel films, but you know, it was okay, but it did lack something. Certainly, but no, let's take a look at this release. So it's got a nice sort of gold motif going on to it, as you can see with these bits here. I can't tell. I think this, this, the, the sort of gold here from her hands, her powers, that's probably on the outer slip, I guess. That is a sticker on the plastic over it, so that will come off. Um, so I've got a side, there's a side there. So this is a Mondo Steelbook number. I don't know, what's that? 59, number 59 there. Um, little Captain Marvel there. And there's the back, which is very much just a printing of, of what's on the back of the standard 4K release, or standard um, J card for the 4K release. But you can have a look there, you can see all the Dolby Atmos there. Um, there's the Blu-ray disc with its special features. There's the 4K disc, any other information you might want is there if you want to pause and read. So let's take the plastic off and, and, and let me give you an appraisal of what I think of this steelbook. Because they are far better once you actually take the plastic off. They sort of come to life, I feel. Um, and already it's looking far better. Um, as you can see the gold, it's like the, the, the plastic over it hides hides detail and hides colour and all that sort of a thing. Um, yeah, let's take this out. So as you can see, oh, it's got stuff on the back and now it's on the front, nothing on the back. Um, so yeah, so this is the um, slip J card there on the back. I will take the J card off because they slip nicely within, um, and then they're protected. That's why I take them off. I mean, okay, there's, it's not hiding any anything on the back of the box, which is unfortunate, but yeah. So you can see that that's all gold leaf in, so to speak. Um, so let's have a look at the, the box itself. And here we go. And you know what? Uh, I like it. I like it. I didn't think I liked this one. I thought this was one of the weakest ones. Um, it's got some nice spot gloss into it. As you can see, the light catching it. 
And Carol Danvers there. Nice sort of fiery hair almost, catching the light. Um, yeah, and the logo with Earth below her. I'm assuming that's Earth anyway, as opposed to the other planet that she's on. Um, there's the spine. Um, as you can see, and the back, which is fantastic. Um, so, I mean, you can have that as the front if you wanted. Because, look, sort of reverse. You can reverse it either way. That's, really, that's nice, actually. I quite like that. Yeah, you can have her fully suited. Or partly suited. Yeah, that's, that's quite nice. Let's open it up and take a look at those front and back together at the same time. Um, yeah, the fact it's got... No, that's nice. That's... that's I mean, it's the same image, same pose, but different colours, outfit, mask on in that one. So it's the same image, just a variation of it. Um, but it's nice, different colour schemes and all that. Let's have a look at the discs, see what the discs are like. Um, okay, so this is where I feel they do get a bit lazy, because what they do is they just sort of blow up the image on the front and back and use them there. Okay, fair enough. So that's the Blu-ray. That there's the 4K, and the interior is the same image. So this is where I feel the start the sort of laziness comes about for it, um, which is unfortunate. But I've seen worse. I've seen far worse, um, and that's what I'm going to do in this 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 top ten or top ten or this countdown worst to best. I'll have a look at them properly. Um, taking into account the disc art, the interior, the exterior, and all that. Um, yeah, so that's really good. Um, nice. So let me just take off this J card that's glued on in place. I've torn a bit of paper off of it. That's of no big concern. Um, it's just a bit on the back. Let me get them. Well, see, I mean, this glue is it's a horrible, horrible glue. And it is, you know, it, I think, yeah, this is, you know, sometimes they have a nice glue, which isn't too strong. But this, I mean, you can see, look, look, look at this. Look at this fight to get this glue off. It really is. And it's leaving little bits there as well. And people will be saying to me, oh, I bet you wish you left that J card on now. Um... This is, I think this is some of the worst glue I've ever seen. Wow. That really is, you know, it's a bit of card that you're sticking on. Does it need to be that, that strong? It doesn't. Um, you know, it's left like, I'll work on that. That will come off. But it's not good. But there we go. All it is, is you know what I mean? It's just sticky, isn't it? Um, but anyway, let's put that back on there and have a look. So with its protective slip, the back to that, and the back being like that, which is essentially another front. So, there we go, let's put that in there. Um, so that's what I do, I slide that in just for a protective measure. So that's inside. And there we go, there we go. Captain Marvel, that's all about the way. Um, Zavi exclusive Mondo Steelbook. So after a little bit of deliberation, I can say that I quite like that still book actually. Far better in person than what it is um, when I saw it on the website. But I find that quite a lot. Is that something that you find when you're opening up a still book? Um, or any sort of release? Do you find that in hand, when you're actually holding it and you see the artwork finally, that it sort of speaks to you more? That in the flesh it's far better than what it is? Um, in picture on a website. Anyway, yeah, so there we go. So, thoughts on that? Let me know down below in the comment section. Are you getting these Mondo Steel books? Um, did you get any of them? Do you have any Mondo Steel books? I know I've been asked to do a showing of my um, Mondo Steel book for Pet Cemetery 
Um, so now that these are out of the way, I will do that. Um, I think I did do one when I got it, but I'll do another one. It won't take me long to knock out. Um, that's what she said. Um, but yes. And I shall see you all later. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Goodbye.